In this class, we are going to learn how we can delete a message or an email from our mailbox with the help of Microsoft's Graph API. I'm here in the official documentation page by Microsoft on using Microsoft Graph APIs and from the table of content, we need to traverse to this messages, which is under the mail and then we need to click on this delete message. Here, Microsoft says we can delete a message in the specified user's mailbox or a delete a relationship of the message with the help of this API. So there is a note over here. So once deleted, it won't be recovered. The most important thing while using the Graph APIs are permissions. So as I'm using the Microsoft's personal mail account that is outlook.com, I'm going to make use of this permission. Also, if you're using this work or organization email address, then you can add this permission. In this case, for this particular Graph API, all the permissions for, be it for application or delegated, it's same that is mail.readwrite. So in detail, we had seen how we can register application in Azure portal, how we can generate the client ID secret, how we can add the permissions manually in the Azure app. If you have not watched those classes, please check out the class. If you are just wondering how we can add the permissions, how we can register our application in portal for those things, you need to watch out our previous classes before going ahead with this class. Here, Microsoft has provided some sample URLs which we can use if we are going to make use of this API in order to delete a message. Here, there is a sample request header. Let me just scroll down. So, if the response is success, that is, this graph API successfully deletes, then 204 no content response count we will get. So here is the sample URL which is provided by Microsoft and the HTTP method what we need to use is delete. Only thing is we need to provide the ID of a mail. As we had seen every email in our mailbox will be having a unique ID. So those things we had seen how we can retrieve the ID for each message in our earlier classes with the help of this list messages API. So without wasting much time let's begin with our hands on. I am here in the postman client. I have made use of this delete graph API over here wherein I have pasted the URL what Microsoft has provided over here only thing is ID I need to replace now you might get a question how we can get a ID so I will consider deleting this draft message we can delete any message like from the inbox or from the deleted folders anywhere just we have to pass the ID with the help of this list messages graph API we can get the ID and the other properties for that particular message so our focus of interest is just ID I am just considering the ID for this mail which is nothing but it is this draft message now I will head over to this delete messages API or the request which I have created. Just copy and paste it over here. Make sure in the authorization you are adding this mail dot read write scope. Otherwise you won't get the authorization to delete the message and the HTTP method should be delete. Let me click on this send button. In the documentation it was saying that we should get 204 no content and it is the same thing what we got. It means it has deleted the message. Now let me switch over to this. Now we are not seeing the draft message. On the right side, it is still persisting because uh, the page is not loaded. Let me load the page. Let me go to this draft folder. Here, if we go, we don't have any emails present in the draft folder. It got deleted. Now, with the help of this delete message, we can delete the messages with the help of Graph API in our Outlook mailbox. So, this will be useful. Suppose if you are creating an application or a bot, which will read the messages in your inbox and it will take the actions and at the end of the action it will forward the message and on completing the action it will just delete the message copy the message to some other folder and delete from one folder in such scenarios we will be making use of this delete message graph api in our next class we will learn how we can copy a message from one folder to another like from inbox folder to a subfolder within the inbox